Hello and welcome to a new Geometry Notes tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can uh, separate the grass here to these columns. It's a very easy tutorial, so I don't want to waste your time. So let's get started. I start with a brand new file here. I'm gonna turn on my screencast keys so you can see what I'm typing and I'm doing. And the first thing I want to do, I go to edit mode, GZ, I move this up and uh, as shift that, I make this a little bit smaller here. Then I input some loop cuts here. And uh, what I'm trying to do now is to move this guy a little bit to why that it looks not that bad maybe something like this i don't want to be perfect just it looks like something as zero and this is my grass so because it's grass i give him some green color i don't care whether it's uh, perfect or not just looks a little bit better so better so now i add a plane so add mesh plane and i scale this a little bit up and um, i scale this guy of course a little bit down i apply my scale and with this plane I go to my geometry notes. I'm gonna hide, this is my grass. I'm gonna hide my grass because I don't wanna see it. And my plane I'm gonna call geometry notes. And I'm gonna add a new geometry notes tree here. And of course we are gonna do the point distribute node here so we distribute our points here we turn up the density and then we bring on in our grass by point instance and here we do grass and look here we have some grass uh, of course you can do a ground floor so we do this too so we say here geometry join and now we can join this here so we have a ground and because the ground should be some kind of earth so we took here a brownish color uh, you can pimp this up with a little bit uh, noise shader i won't do it now uh, just just for um, example uh, just for the that i'm quicker here and i don't want to waste your time so now what i want to do now is i want to uh, rotate the grass a little bit so i'm gonna add here an attribute randomize and i'm randomize a vector and my vector is rotation, so I can rotate my grass, but I just want to rotate it in that axis. So here is zero, zero, and here is uh, zero and two pi. So two pi, here we are. Now the grass looks a little bit more realistic. And now I want to use some kind of mask and uh, there are different ways to do this i will do this with math notes so you can example given just do attribute math node here and we give a sine wave on this and our input value is because here is a y-axis so we take the y-axis and uh, we need of course the position values so as usual 
if you have seen some other uh, tutorials of mine you know what I'm doing here I get the position of every point here so of every west pole here so I get the x y and z value and of the y value I want to calculate the sign so this is sign from y and only if this attribute math bigger so greater than of course you could also take left then it's uh, not important so sinus one so i take here float and the result could be scale and here you see already a result because uh, this is y value and whenever the value is lower than zero then the scale is zero and you won't see the graphs and uh, of course now you can play here with these values so you have more or less here so you have uh, smaller or bigger columns and uh, yeah that's what i want to basically uh, to show you uh, we can now also try to uh, just change uh, the width here so uh, what you can do is you can multiply uh, the y value here so here we do uh, multiply y and without is y again and we do a float here and if you now here uh, change the value you can see you get uh, smaller or bigger columns and here you can adjust the space in between hope uh, you learned something and have fun bye